and, and match Princeton on their half-field offensive defense. Look for Yale to take an early lead if they can do that. Tigers first shot off the mark that time by Tom Schreiber, and that's going to be one of the big matchups that we're going to look at here today as this first quarter is winding down. Schreiber trying to make a move. Shoots, and he scores. He'll tie it up. Schreiber, a simple split right to left, but just look at the explosion. He's immediately able to get his hands free and just let one fly. If I'm Johnson, though, I stay with him for the most part. This is a tough angle. I'm not really sure what more Johnson can do. Is the game going to boil down to that here, and is Schreiber going to have to take over in a similar in a similar manner? I was going to say, think about how much happens and how tough it is when there's such a dominant player on an opposing team that you have to face, like a Rob Pinnell. That's And now maybe this is Schreiber here for Princeton. Well, he's got to take advantage of the short stick. Here's a shot of score. Princeton's got two in a row. It's for him. So now he's on a short stick, as you see here. You have to slide in this situation. He does a great job of surveying the field, finding the open man, and then McDonald works to get upfield. It's coming up next Wednesday, the Warrior Game of the Week, Old Spice College across right here on ESPNU. Again, Schreiber sets the pick, creates the short stick matchup. Deflected out by Yale. So we're going to put Johnson on Schreiber. Well, Princeton's going to use Schreiber as a pick and challenge that matchup. They did it again. Now Schreiber controls it. McDonald's got to get out of there and get space. Ryan Ambrose behind the net, works over to the near side with it now. Quickly. And you wonder if one's coming up here. Yep, and there it is. Now the official's wasting no time in this one. Okay, let's go. For me. Ball out just turned aside by O'Connor, and then he got pushed out near the sideline. With the win, if you will, now 5-4 in that category. So we've been watching that battle all afternoon long here. It's starting to heat up. This shot deflected as Schreiber tried to put that one on cage. Coming up at the half, we'll have a preview of Saturday's games, NCAA and lacrosse headlines, and a recap of the first half here in New Jersey. All coming up at the break. Stay tuned for that. We're under a minute away. Kip Orban for Princeton. Gives it up behind the cage. Orban scored the latest goal in this one to tie it up at four before the end of the half. Going to be a penalty coming up here on Yale. Skip pass. Ooh, missed it. Schreiber comes out of the box. Schreiber looking, shooting wide. The sophomore for Yale. Over to Schreiber. He should go right back to the way. <laughs> Jeff for Carl working it in. Gives it up for Schreiber. Now over to Jake for Carl. Shoots, scores! Great job of exploiting this short stick matchup for Carl. Patient. Schreiber's got the vision to see that cross field so difficult for a defense to react from one side to the other. And again, you see the Princeton hitch. Tigers. On offense, now the tie game once again at five. Shot saved, Natale. Might have got tipped. I like the, the two-man game action there between McDonald and Fercaro. McDonald still has a short stick. Look for a pick right here for Schreiber. Schreiber trying to dump it in front and off of the stick of Jake Fercaro. That would made it even yeah. more difficult to be a referee by all the star calls, but that is the most, still the most difficult call in the game. Trying to get a shot off as Jeff Fercaro instead passes it around. Schreiber's got it. Schreiber's got to cut through there when Fakaro's pushing the edge. Goes back in front. Shot high of the cage that time by Mike McDonald this season. And 
The big stat by Clemson, I think, is they had 13 shots in that first half overall, Ryan. They had 13 in the third quarter, and that helped propel them to that two-goal advantage. Yeah, just an overall much better aggressive uh, a play offensively. With a defensive midfielder, and like you talked about, the versatility of a player like that to go kind of both ways, and it proves to be successful. Dangerous situation here. Schreiber. Passes it up and a shot to score by Ryan Ambler. He's, you can see this is Schreiber's catching the ball after the uh, uh, initiation and transition. Ambler shows goals for Princeton. He really struggled against Penn. They were picking on him a little bit. Coach Bates said he had six turnovers in that game in the last game and now has come back strong here today. Yeah, you saw him exploit that short stick net. Now in years past, Mike, up three, eight minutes, you're thinking, let's kill the let's kill the clock. Right. Let's start now. With the stall and the timer on, that's not really an, op op an option. You can certainly be more patient. The separation it once was for Princeton. Did they get another stall warning here late in this one? You want to create a quality shot, but the biggest thing is don't give up transition. Here's Schreiber on the short stick. This should end in a quality shot. He gets it up, and it's a high shot that time over the cage by Jake Ficarra. 